We have a 2005 Subaru Outback 3.0 liter V6 or H6 is sometimes called. I don't care what you call it. Uh, it doesn't crank or cranks over, doesn't start. So uh, first thing I did was just try to spray a little carb cleaner in there to see if we could get it to run so we could pull it inside. Didn't work, so we pushed it in, uh, scanned it. It has a code for a crank sensor signal A, uh, no, no signal. And uh, so I brought up the PIDs for the crankshaft position uh, signal and that it's getting one and then the RPMs of the engine spun it over, nothing. So it was time to just locate and check the sensor to see what it looks like. And boy, did that turn up something interesting. The sensor's chewed in half. That's the crank sensor wire. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty broke. So let's, uh, let's get that fixed and see what we get. We know that this is a problem. So if you can see, we have fixed the broken wire. We've wired it to the, we got a, a, a pigtail from uh, O'Reilly's. They happen to have one in stock, so that worked out fantastically. However, in order to be able to get to that wire to do this, we pulled the alternator out. So that way I could work with it right here, because under there, there's not enough room. And also trying to go back around the intake was just nigh impossible to try and do some soldering and stripping and all that stuff. So if you take out the alternator, it's one of the easier things. The only problem was the connector didn't want to come off here because they'd broken it. And so I just left it connected and we just moved it to the side. Obviously we disconnected the battery. So now I'm going to put this back. I just had to move this this adjuster out slightly so we could fit it in there easily. Um, but it does have a little slots here. So you just got to crack that bolt loose and then you got to wiggle it out and it'll, you got enough room. So cool. Now we're going to finish all this and see if it works. All right, we got it all hooked back up and we're going to see if it starts. Hey, I'm just kidding. We already started it once, but I figured I'd give you a little bit of the suspense. Uh, it took a little longer to crank it over the first time, but yeah, doing fine now. So we're going to go run it down the road, make sure that nothing else goes wrong and uh, send her on her way. But the lady was traveling. Thankfully, it was something quote unquote easy. Like we didn't, we don't have a dead engine. We didn't blow up anything. It's just a rat chewed through the uh, crank sensor wire. Got a new new pigtail and installed it. Off to the races we go. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I uh, hope it helped. Stick around or go and check out some more videos. Thank you very much and have a fantastic rest of your day.